Well, what's up future millionaires, it's Mike the Investor and in this video we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to buy any crypto that was launched on the Uniswap exchange. But before we dive into today's content, this video is brought to you by iTrust Capital, a partner of the channel and they are the number one crypto IRA platform in America. And not only that, they took away the monthly fee that used to be on iTrust Capital and we can use this 24-7. 365. Now briefly, I want to go here. There's still a fee on crypto and precious metals, but we no longer have to pay that $30 fee. And even better, you will also get a hundred dollars free in Bitcoin when signing up using my link below. But before we get to that, here are some of the cryptocurrencies that you can purchase on the iTrust Capital platform. As you can see, they have some really big names, some of the cryptos that we believe are here to stay. And last but not least, that is very important to me, is who they use for their cold storage digital asset wallet providers. They use Coinbase Custody and Curve. And so if you want to check out iTrust Capital for yourself and also get a hundred dollars free in Bitcoin, click the link below. So now that you know how to invest in cryptocurrency completely tax-free, let's go ahead and dive into today's content after this. All right, crypto investors, welcome back to the channel. Now there are time since down below if you wanna look at some specific sections in this video. Now I'm gonna be giving a few different examples here on Uniswap. And so I'm not gonna be going through the full transaction and I will have my wallet address, you know, blocked out just for security purposes. So let's go ahead and do the first things first and go ahead and connect our wallet. Now for me, I use the trust wallet when I'm using Uniswap. It doesn't matter if you're using MetaMask or Coinbase wallet, they're all going to operate pretty much the same. The user phase is just going to look a little bit different. And so first things first, I'm gonna be right here. You see the connect wallet. We're gonna hit connect and see so you have MetaMask wallet connect and Coinbase wallet. Now this isn't gonna be a full tutorial. This is just gonna be a brief overview showing you how to buy pretty much you know any crypto that was launched on Uniswap and this is mainly going to help out for newer cryptos that are just coming out and so what we're gonna do is hit wallet connect and so if I come off of this page real quick we are back on the main page I have my phone right here and I'm gonna pull the screen up here briefly just so you can see what it looks like and so if you're wondering I'm using an iPhone it doesn't matter if you're using Android or iPhone on the very bottom you have wallet discover and then you have settings we want to be on the settings tab and now what we want to do is hit the wallet connect right under price alerts and so once i hit the wallet connect you're going to see it's going to say new connection now once i hit new connection it's going to automatically pull up my qr code and it's going to want to scan the qr code i'm trying to connect to and so now once i hit the new connect feature you're going to see we can see my computer screen which is wallet connect so now what i'm going to do this is my hand here so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to hit back we're going to go back to the laptop here briefly and now i'm going to hit wallet connect and now you can see the qr code has pulled up we're going to go back to the phone here real quick all right all right so now we're going to hit wallet connect again all right so now we're going to hit okay all right so now we're going to hit all right so now we're going to hit the new connection again and i'm going to look down at my laptop so it doesn't automatically connect and now as i move it up you're going to see it's going to automatically connect and then i'm going to switch back over to the laptop view version so as i move up slowly you can see it automatically pulled up as you can see it does have my main wallet address i do have it blocked out just so you don't see it and then once i hit connect you're going to see now it's going to be connected on my wallet address here on my phone. And now as we go to the laptop version, you're going to see now we are connected. Now your wallet address will show up here. But once again, I have that blocked out for security purposes. Now, as we look at the balance here, this is going to have your Ethereum because this is based off of the Ethereum blockchain network. And so first things first, 
let's just do a quick example now that we are connected to Uniswap. And so I'm going to do a cryptocurrency that, of course, is already available. You don't have to put the actual contract address in there to find the coin, which we will get to. So first things first, I just want to show you, let's say I want to buy Chainlink, right? As you can see here, it's going to give you some common bases. You have DAI, USDC, Tether, Wrap Bitcoin, and Ethereum. And so there's two ways to find a token. You can either type it in, which is Chainlink, which is already here available, so you don't have to import it, which would be if you're trying to find a token, which we will get to. And so for this example, let's just say Chainlink wasn't imported already on the Uniswap exchange. What we're gonna do now, we can either go over to CoinGecko or you can use CoinMarketCap. They both will give you the contract address. Now, let's just say if we're trying to find it on CoinGecko, you wanna to go to the right side, look at info, and then here's the contract. And what you wanna do is just click and copy that. And so what we're gonna do is go back to Uniswap, and all I have to do is copy that in there. And now you can see Chainlink is already imported. It's already activated. So I'm just gonna take this back out. Now let's do it from CoinMarketCap. It's gonna be the same exact thing. So when we go to CoinMarketCap, it's gonna be on the left side, usually right under the white paper. So we're gonna do the same thing and copy this address. And the reason why you wanna do this because this way you know you have the proper contract address if you're trying to locate a crypto that is not already on the Uniswap DEX, all right? And so what we're gonna do is go back over to Uniswap, same thing, and it's gonna pop up again for us just like that. And here's Chainlink, it's already activated. Now let's just do a random coin, you know, that's not already imported and you will see how that will come out. Now, when you're buying a common cryptocurrency, typically it is already imported, you know, on Uniswap or any type of DEX that you are using, rather it's the Binance Smart Chain, rather it's Tron, uh, Polygon, Solana, you name it. It's already gonna be pretty much imported. Now, if it's a newer project that is just coming out that just got listed, you know, on CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap, which is what we're seeing with a lot of NFT projects, play to earn game projects and all of that good stuff, you're gonna have to import it by getting that contract address. Now, to be safe, I wanted to show you how to do it if you use CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, depending on what's your preference. Now, one thing I do want to mention, there is a settings gear icon right here on the screen. And what you're going to do is click this. And as you can see, my slippage right now is set on 12%. Now, typically, the only reason why I'm going to have it set this high is if I'm buying a super, super new crypto that has to have a high slippage for it to go through because the price is so extremely small and the volatility is so great. And so typically, in the white paper on the website, if you're buying a new cryptocurrency, it's going to tell you the recommended slippage to buy it. And typically it's anywhere from eight to 10%, or it's gonna be from 12 to 15%. However, depending on what the market is doing, there may be times you have to raise it a tad higher to get that transaction to go through, or also keep in mind, depending on how much you're actually spending as well. So all that as well affects kind of how things go through. Now, what you want to do, you can easily change this to 1%, which is typically what I have it on if I'm just purchasing a normal common crypto. And so if I will hit settings again, you can see the slippage now is on 1%. And this is basically how much you're willing to have that price fluctuate for that, you know, buy or sell to go through. And so let's try to find a random token. And so let's just type in Inu. Um, let's see, never heard of some of these Coca Inu. Okay, let's just see. I would imagine, yes, it's on Ethereum. And if you want to know, easy way right here, contract, you can see here's the Ethereum address. And another way to know, you can see here's MetaMask. MetaMask is a Ethereum based wallet. And so let's just say we're trying to locate this coin. And I have no idea, you know, what this coin is. I haven't looked into it. So this is just a strict example, okay? Not any type of financial advice. I have no idea about this coin. And so what we're going to do is copy this contract address. And now we're gonna go back over to Uniswap. We're gonna hit select token. Once we do that, we can go ahead and copy the address in there just to be safe. Or if we know the ticker symbol, you can type it in as well. But I like to be safe if it's a door crypto to know you have that proper address. And so if I wanna just type it in, let's do K-O-K-A. 
you have Coca Inu here. As you can see, you can import it, but let's say I don't wanna do that. I wanna delete this. So once we do that, so once we do that, you can see Coca Inu is now already on there. So if I wanted to, I can just import this. It is gonna come up and tell you this token doesn't appear on the active token listing. Make sure this is a token that you want to trade because there are a lot of scams that will have the same name and not the proper you know, token address. So make sure you go to CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap to verify that. And also verify it on that actual website and white paper because any project should have it. If they don't, don't invest. And so as we hit the import, now you can see it is available for me to trade for it. Now, because this is a newer crypto, I'm most likely going to have to raise my slippage. Now, typically the crypto project is going to give you the recommended slippage, but typically it's going to be a lot higher. And then if I wanted to, let's just say the little Ethereum I do have here in the trust wallet, let's just say I wanted to max this out. It's gonna automatically, of course, give you the amount of, you know, this token I'm gonna get. This gives you the value amount, and then this is gonna give you what it is, and then you can just swap it, all right? And so once you go to swap it, it will pull up the wallet address on your phone, and then you're gonna have to, you know, approve that, and it will give you the amount of what the fees are, as well as how much you're going to approximately get. And so once you do that, you are good to go. So this was just pretty much a quick example uh, to let you know on how to pretty much buy any type of cryptocurrency, whether it's a new crypto or a common crypto. And so briefly, I just want to show you where you can kind of find the average amount, you know, for Ethereum fees just for your own personal records. And so this is the crypto.com DeFi dashboard, and this is all Ethereum based. And so as you can see here, if we go down to Uniswap, this is going to tell us what the average fee is right now. As you can see, $382.21. So right now, where I'm currently living, I am in central time. It is around 2.14 p.m. And so with that being said, there's a lot of you know congestion on a network, a lot of busyness going on. And so typically the fees are going to be higher, but this is a good way to find out you know where uh, the fees are currently are. Typically around midnight to 3 a.m. to 4, there's less people on the network, which makes less fees. So typically that's when you wanna try to do it. You know, if you're not a, a early bird or extremely uh, late night person, try to make an exception if you're trying to make a buy with cheap, uh, cheaper fees. But go to Google and just type in crypto.com DeFi dashboard gas fees and it'll pop right up for you. I wanted to make a quick and easy tutorial for everyone that's kind of trying to get into DeFi and wanting to buy newer tokens, this video is for you. So share this out on your you know, social media timeline. It helps this video out a lot and it helps other people figure out what's going on in the crypto space. So if you gain some value, smash that like button. And quick reminder, if you wanna use iTrust Capital, you now get a $100 free in Bitcoin and we no longer have to pay that monthly fee to use the platform. So definitely take advantage on saving on your crypto capital gains. But that is all I got for you. Remember to stay inspired, stay motivated, always invest in yourself, and I'm out.